Why am I dying doing this video? Then you start crafting. Ta-da! Hello! Today we are going to talk about gathering and crafting beginner's guide. And I'm just going to quickly go into the video to show you how I actually try to maximize my gathering fame. So for those of you who have been playing for a while, you'll know that gathering fame is the only one that you cannot use your fame credits to level up, which is super irritating. It's taking me like, ever since after fame week, I have been gathering non-stop. And now I'm currently at T7 for fiber and the rest T5, only stone T6 and Actually for Lumberjack, I can also, you know, use my learning points But I don't have a lot because I stopped my premium for a while First of all, for gathering, you can actually buy gathering gears over here depending on what you want to focus on A very good way to earn money if you are a beginner is, I feel, is Fisherman I'm T7 for fishing and it has really earned me a lot of money I will use pork pie that will increase your gathering ew. So let me show you. <laughs> this is pork pie. Ta -da! When you gather, you should try to eat pork pie whenever you have that or go and buy it from the marketplace because it will increase your gathering, gathering ew by 15 seconds, 15%, and it will also increase your max load. So you wouldn't get overweight so quickly and easily you should also buy a stack make sure you go to mount and buy the stack i have guild mates who go to like they just type stack and they are buying the stack that is that has yet to be settled and then they can't use the stack like the but anyway a stack is around 55k which is also like super budget yeah you can carry quite a lot of stack usually i use a stack and a bag but if i'm in the black zone which i'm going to show you because i'm super duper pussy <laughs> anyway if you want any gathering gears you should totally do it because sometimes they will give you more much more gathering bonus and it's actually like times two of the fame or even more sometimes if you add your premium bonus and your gathering bonus you can fame up twice as fast as compared to if you are just gathering without premium and without your gathering gear anyway not that i'm trying to promote it because i'm not being paid to do this this is what you gain from your premium and it writes 50% gathering you which is a lot no all these lizards I'm so like tempted to buy a lizard but I'm obviously you know quite budgeted because I bought a mammoth car yeah anyway this is my gear when I go together I always remember to buy journals also usually they will sell it in the houses okay maybe not in this hideout you can just go to different hideouts that you can assess and try and see if they have houses that house laborers. They are usually T7 or T8. So you can just buy some journals and fill along the way. It's a lot of extra income. Okay, let me show you. Oh my god! What if I die? What if I die doing this video? Oh my god. Anyway, I haven't been gearing here for some time because now I'm focusing on skinning. So, when you're in the black zone, what I will do is I will try to find the nodes. This is a cotton node. It means that there are a lot of resources over there. But at the same time, usually, it's empty <laughs> because it's just so competitive here. Oh, so annoying. Look, all the T5 flat, nobody wants to gather it. Nope, nobody. Oh, let me take this. Okay, so this is 6.1. 130 premium bonus, another one. Oops, is that a red? Yeah, so it's like, if you don't have... If I didn't buy premium, I would probably get, instead of 130, I would probably get like 65. Also, in different zones, there are different, what do you call that? Uh, 
tears fiber. I think you can only find T7 and T8 fiber in black zones, so you have to step out of your comfort zone and not just loiter around. Where's that? And not just loiter around yellow or blue zones. Red zones give you T6. Yeah, but that's all. You can go to a T7 red zone and they don't give you a T7 resource. Look, premium bonus. If I didn't have the premium bonus, I would probably have around 22 fame. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, gather bonus. So if you wear the gathering set, which is this set, there is a higher chance of you to get gather bonus. Now, let me take off the set. Oh my god, if I'm getting ganked here, I have nothing to say. Okay, now let me take off this set. Don't kill me, please. Always keep your mounts near to you if you are gathering in the black zone. It should be a habit you should try to have anyway. Yeah, see, it's only 65. And for sure, there's no gathering bonus because you are not wearing the gathering tool. Anyway, I'm heading back. Yeah, so every time when you fill up, when you do this, you can see that... Look, ta-da! And once the journal is full, you can either use it for your laborers on your island. Check out my island, player's island guide if you haven't. Or you can just sell it. And let me just show you my gathering set. Okay, the reason why I use a double blader is of course we can jump very far. Look at me. Look at me. I can jump very far and then I'll invis, then I'll press my D, which will make me immune to you know all the attacks for a period of time. And then I have another F. Oh and if you are like me and you are thinking that oh now I ran out of pork pie, should I buy it? In every hideout you should be able to see this, right? Oh, they don't sell it here. Ah, they do sell it here. Of course, it has to be much more overpriced than the Royals. But, you know, if you are gathering for the full 30 minutes, I believe it's worth it. Considering that they are giving you 15% more gathering you. There are a lot of videos on crafting on how you can like, uh, take advantage of the current market and craft items that you know will sell for sure but let me just show you that my crafting I have literally zero specs on crafting the only thing I have tried to craft is this torch that yeah I just stopped at tier 3 and yeah there's nothing much here but I'm trying to craft Miss Piercer if you are wondering how to craft an item, the easiest way if you want to craft an item or a weapon for yourself, you click on the item that you would like to craft and you just scroll down, you will see like, oh, you need 32 planks, T4 planks, and what's this? This is an artifact. That is quite expensive actually. So for artifacts, I'll usually put by order, which I already did. So you can see I have already prepared 15 immaculately crafted riser if you have enchanted planks or more like resources then you don't need to enchant them at the artifacts foundry what's that called anyway i'll show you later yeah this is the pot pie what's the market price what's the market price four thousand five hundred Again, you can go to the marketplace and you can buy potato salad, you can buy kraken salad for crafting But I'm just gonna use this for myself So I'm just gonna use my bean salad <laughs> That I've bought a long time ago that also increases crafting speed and quality just by very little I don't mind actually to be honest Anyway, let me show you something Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I just bought this 
Mammoth Calf is coming up in next video. Next album video is gonna be me settling a Mammoth Calf. If you have totally no clue where you can craft a Miss Piercer, they usually write it here. Like somewhere around here. I don't know why they don't write it. Like not all the weapons write it. But you can just go around and search where to where to craft your weapon. I've already crafted this so I know that I need to go to um, Hunter's Lodge which is here and we are going to find the cheapest one which is over here. See? 9% and this is 12%. We are going to Yay! So another tip for you is to see the crafting bonus in the city. Every city, there's some crafting bonus. So in this city, if you craft X, a quarter star, plate and offhand, you actually get 15% extra crafting bonus. So it means kind of like you get 15% resources back from crafting these things. However, I'm crafting bow today, so there is no crafting bonus. I will show you though, for bows, you have to go all the way to Limhurst. Where's Limhurst? I'm not coming here, man. Look. If I were to craft bow, this is a Miss Piercer. I would be able to earn much more or like craft much more in quantity, but no, I'm not gonna do that. It's so freaking far away. Look, this Limhurst, and I am at my smart lock. Tada! <laughs> Just wanna check again. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's do this! First, you eat the bean salad then you start crafting actually let's do this mm. okay look at the elephant behind look at the tail okay I can't do this it would be funny if I actually have a masterpiece for this, but yeah, I knew it. I don't have it. Then I'm gonna do one. Oh! <gasps> I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to use my focus points. Oh my god, I'm so silly. Uh, never mind for the enchanted ones. And I feel like all oh, 10 books. <gasps> I should have bought more. Oh no. So from here, let's say if I want to level up my Miss Piercer crafting, right? What I can do is click on the guy and go to the third tab. It's called study. So what study does is they will actually study this thing that you have crafted and they will eat it. So in a way, you are risking how much? For me, I'm risking like 57k just to get more fame. And I think it's totally worth it because I'm rich. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they will tell you. Let's do it. Let's do it so I can fame up. Look, mustard. Yay. Does that mean I can craft 5 for anything now? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier on, I believe I paid like how much? 18k. Right? And then now I have 26k worth of journals that I can use for my laborers and whatnot. So you realize that for those that I have used 0.2, like 4.2, when I use focus, they actually give me back more resource refund. And automatically it's crafting a 4.2. If you have 4.3 logs, of course it becomes a 4.3 misfiercer. However, if you don't have that much enchanted resources, you can always go to Artifact Foundry and let me just show you how you can do it. You go to Artifact Foundry, it's usually very near the bank which is here. And then remember to take your rune, your soul and your relic. You just click on the item that you want to enhance. By the way guys, just take note. 
if you want to do this for profit, you should check out the market price first. For me, I don't really care. I'm just using this for ZVZ. So, I'm just gonna enchant them anyway. Now, let's do one from scratch. This is for main hand. I think you need like 192 runes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then, 192 so. Relic was it still 192? I don't think it's 90 plus, right? Oh my god, it's also 192 and yeah, I don't have enough. So, you can go to the market and you can buy 192 of this thing. And you come back here and you can get a 4.3 Miss Piercer. That's how you can do it. But actually, to be honest, I think nowadays the Miss Piercer... Things that requires relic is not really worth it to craft for lower tier. So just check out the market if you are doing this for profits. Let's go back to my island now to see my baby. I shall put the baby down with you. I mean not put down the baby but I am so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so silly. No. <laughs> Wait, which location can I see it more clearly? Is it here? Here. Yeah. Yeah? No, no, no. I need to make sure that I zoom in, I can get it. Here? Hmm, here? No, no, no. I think here. This is a good feng shui. Ta -da! Oh my god, it's a baby! Oh my god, look at it! <laughs> it looks so stupid. Wait, why is it facing the wall? Oh my god! I need some like skin to skin contact. Tell me it's not cute. Look! Hello! Hi, I'm your mommy. I'm your muddy. Okay, okay, let's feed it. Oh my god, I got not enough focus points! Don't worry, I'll come back. I'll come back, I'll make sure I have enough focus points and I'll come back and I'll give it some pets. You have to make sure that you have you are nurturing the mammoth. The maximum projected off spring yield of a mammoth is only 15%. So no. I'll talk more about how I get this mammoth and like where can you get this mammoth? And more about the prices and the food and the settling materials required in my next album video so stay tuned for that if not that's all for today if you have any tips or tricks for crafting or gathering or raising a memoir please also put them down in the comment section below so all of us can learn from it if not that's it for this video say bye i love you i love you i love you Ha 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 ha.